my little rainbows and welcome back to another video. This video is a collab with Lexi Rue Gaming and we are doing a sim swap challenge. So I sent her three of our royals. I sent her Princess Araminta, Queen Nea, and Princess Belle. So she'll be turning them into, I guess like commoners and more contemporary outfits. And she also uses a lot of alpha CC. So I'm so excited to see them and in their new looks and styles. But she sent us three of her sims from a few of her her series. So we have here, so this is Mint Berry from her Not So Berry Challenge. I think she is so interesting looking and so cool. So the description that Lexi sent me was that she is generation one of the Not So Berry Challenge, has been seriously struggling to find love this entire series, but she really likes to wear high-end brands. She had a mom haircut now as she recently had her daughter Rosalind. So I thought it would be really cool a lot of the royals that I'm turning them into are fantasy creatures and the custom content for their final outfits I will link in the description below for you all as well so you guys don't have to go through the hundreds and hundreds of pins that I have on my Pinterest board with all my custom content. But I decided to turn Mint into an elven queen. So very fantastical. I did two outfits for each of the sims so I just thought that it would look so cool and most of the royals that I turned them into are definitely not any type of royals that I would put in my royal family series just because as you guys know I try to keep it a little bit more realistic for the royal family series and I know I've done similar royals like this in the past with my collab with Simmer Aaron but my collab with Aaron was more based off of the different colors because she sent me royal like rainbow sims royal rainbow sims so I did it based off of their colors but for them I didn't really stick with colors I know Mint has her mint colored hair, but the other two Sims do not. So I decided to, I did play with the colors for her a little bit, but that's not really what I based her style off of. This does almost make me want to have a fantasy royal family series, but make it different and separate from our royal family series. I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't do that anytime soon if I were to do that. And I would have to figure out because the main reason why I'm so invested in like our royal family series is because I've been playing playing with those families for generations, like seven generations or something like that. So that's why I'm so invested in them, but it would be really cool to have a fantasy sort of series. But yeah, you guys can let me know what you think of that for any future videos. Our next sim is Reyna Holder. So this is what the original sim looked like. Reyna is also in Lexi's Not So Berry series. She is a Mint's longtime best friend who is a scientist. Very casual style, but she's honestly one of Lexi's favorites. So for her, since she has a more casual style, I decided to go with a pirate queen inspired look. So for her everyday outfit, it's definitely more what I think is more pirate inspired, but definitely sticking with the pirate fantasy thing. In my collab with Erin, I did a pirate king. So this one is a pirate queen, which I think is so cool. One of the main reasons I love the pirate style so much is because I love the movies Pirates of the Caribbean. I also am obsessed with, if you guys have seen the TV show Once Upon a Time, I'm obsessed with Captain Hook. So that's why I love the pirate style so much and I thought it looked really good on her too. I also just thought it fit her so well since Lexi did say that she's much more casual. So I didn't want to do something super girly and queen like. I wanted to do something a little bit more edgy like with the pirate stuff too. So that's why I went with that for her. Honestly, I do see the Not So Berry challenge a lot. Like it seems to be extremely popular with simmers or YouTubers that play sims. And I'm curious what it is exactly. I haven't gotten the chance to watch as many episodes of the Not So Berry Challenge of Lexi's, but one of my favorite on Lexi's channel, and you guys definitely have to make sure you check her out. I'm gonna link her channel in the description below, but one of my favorites is her Castaway Challenge. It's so cool. So she has like the Sims that have been like cast away on like this island, and it's just the coolest thing ever. It's something that I really love the gameplay of and the style. Lexi's just, she's a great person, and her storytelling is so great too, so definitely make sure you check out her channel. I was so excited when she reached out to me to do a collab. I love doing these collabs. I will say though, I don't know how many more collabs I can do with Royal Sims because I don't know if I'm gonna end up running out of ideas, but hopefully you guys are still enjoying seeing me making these Sims all Royals and seeing the different type of Royals that we make too and that we create and also just 
just the fact that the custom content is linked in the description below. I know you guys asked for that too. And I will also be making a custom content video with links very soon as well. So that'll be coming in the next few weeks. But yeah, this is Reyna's formal outfit. So it's a little bit more of a medieval style. I guess not really so much of pirate style, but I still thought out of the other dresses that this one fit the style a little bit better. That crown is also the same crown that I gave the Pirate King when I did my collab with Erin, but it also just looked great on her too. And I think originally it was supposed to be a queen's crown from when I downloaded it. This one, I will say, I know, I think I had trouble downloading this crown. I am linking it in the description below, but I know people had had trouble with it too. So I'm just gonna give you guys a warning. Just be careful. It has one of those like ad sites things and like warns you about viruses a lot. I didn't get a virus from it, but I don't really understand how that stuff works. So just be careful when you're downloading that crown specifically. The rest of the custom content should be more like Sims file share and easier to download. So just wanted to say that. But this right here is Rose Butterfield. So Rose is the main character in Lexi's 100 Baby Challenge series. She spends most of her time writing books to make money for the kids. I know the 100 Baby Challenge is so popular and it seems so interesting to me. A lot of the thing too though, and I'm sure you guys have noticed this from my series as well, I don't use, like I always use cheats for their needs. I always cheat their needs because I just, I find it tedious to have to make them use the bathroom every time, but I always find it really, really funny, the 100 Baby Challenge. And I was watching this on Lexi's too, and it's just so entertaining to see people trying to flirt with all these guys and then have babies with them. It's so entertaining. If you have not seen a 100 Baby Challenge video yet, then definitely make sure you check out Lexi's. But this for Rose, I wanted to do an ice queen and it was a little bit difficult because she has black hair and I didn't want to change that. I wanted to still keep the same like hair color and eye color as I could for Lexi Sims. So she has black hair, but there is this ombre custom content and it ended up working for a little bit. I guess if you look up close, it does look a little strange, but you guys will see it in a bit. But I did like these icy sort of white highlights for her that you guys will see too. So it probably would have worked better if she had white hair or something. And I debated actually making Mint the Ice Queen, but I thought with Mint's hair color, it just looked more like the Elven Queen. Yeah, so this is the highlights that I was talking about. So I play around with it a little bit, but also like the crown and everything. Oh, it looks so cool. There were some other crowns that I've seen too that have what looks like snowflakes in them, but this just looks like like someone, like it looks like Elsa with ice power. She just like froze and made a crown. It looks gorgeous. And I didn't think I could use this crown for any other Sims. So I wanted to make sure I used it on her. But yeah, I love the whole ice queen look. Like that is just one of my favorite styles is having an ice queen. And I, so this is her formal outfit. And I was debating because there wasn't too many dresses that had the iciness like snowflakes, like in the lace and all that with it. So I made sure that her everyday outfit had the lace and what looks like snowflakes as that's what it looks like to me. But for her formal outfit, it doesn't really have that, but I kept like the white with it, but I did a little bit more white and gold. So I guess it's not really an ice queen, but it's like an inspired ice queen. That reminds me too, I was planning on doing a video very soon and turn our royals, like our princesses into Disney princesses. So I'll be doing that very soon. That just reminded me like ice queen reminded me of Elsa. But yeah, so that is pretty much it. It's almost over, but I will be doing some screenshots. So Alexi and I will be putting our Madeover Sims in our gallery. So the link to both of our galleries are in the description below. So you guys can download the original Sims from Lexi's or you can download the Madeover ones from me. And then you can also download the Madeover Royals, our princesses in Lexi's video too, or in Lexi's gallery also. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and who your favorite one is. This was so much fun. I love doing something a little bit different. Make sure you guys check out Lexi's video and see what she did with Princess Araminta, Nea, and Belle because I'm so excited to see them too. I love it, just the idea of them being like contemporary and seeing what they look like. So definitely make sure you check that out. I'll link that video in the description below as well. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. If you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Make sure you also subscribe to Lexi's channel too. Go ahead and check her out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.